Hello and welcome to Center for Victory's podcast of your best day yet. At Center for Victory, we're here to help unlock, reinforce, and enrich relationships through personal and professional development. I'm Eric Guy, Chief Victory Officer at the Center for Victory. With us today, a uh, very close and dear friend. Uh, you probably have uh, hopefully seen her husband on a former podcast here that we've done, Caleb. But uh, Sarah Kolb, welcome. Uh, I'm going to tell people kind of what you do. Um, if you, if you listen to Caleb's podcast with us, uh, he talked a lot about, uh, ATP, which is the company that you guys, uh, came into started and really have grown. Uh, you're, you're the operating officer there. So you're chief operating officer there. But what I want to talk about today is something that you've created the co-founder of Aurelius. Okay. So Aurelius is kind of for better terms is an offshoot of ATP, but more specific in the fact that you serve uh, active military veterans, first responders suffering from PTSD and depression. Okay. Um, 100% confidential, stigma-free and free of charge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're, you're based in Pittsburgh, which is good. So for all for all you Yinzers listening to this, uh, it's a, it's a Pittsburgh based company. They do a lot of great work. Um, you know, one of the things that you shared is actually on your website too, there's a hundred thousand veterans, military and first responders that call Pittsburgh home a hundred thousand. Is that right? And it's actually the largest County in the state of Pennsylvania is home to, to veterans here. Wow. So yeah, we've got the largest population. So you're here to serve our service folks. Um, the, the name of the company, um, I know where it comes from, but I like, it's called Aurelius. Okay. Um, it's inspired from Marcus Aurelius or his, you know, um, so the passage, what stands in the way becomes the way, mm -hmm. um, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. And what does that mean to people that are listening? So, I mean, we've all got obstacles, yeah. whether it be psychological or physical, and we can try and ignore those obstacles or those things that are kind of bringing us down or weighing us down in some way. And the only way to grow through those is to face them head on and to, to walk through them. And we are excited to have a program that helps people walk through those obstacles and you know, we like to say we're big adventurers, uh, there at Aurelius. And so we say everyone's got their own mountain to climb and, uh, we're here to, to climb it with you. Okay. And so it, it really is, um, it really is free of charge. It's really focused on those folks. Um, why just those folks? At ATP, we've always been passionate in serving those who have served and sacrificed mm -hmm. for us. Um, for me specifically, I, I found ATP because I wanted to give back to the veteran community. And um, I wanted to give back in, in ways that I feel that I'm gifted in. Um, I love challenge, physical challenge, physical health and wellness, um, mental health and wellness. Um, my dad was a veteran. And I saw the um, challenges that he had from PTS. Uh, he was in Vietnam. He was a prisoner of war. So there was a lot that he had to work through. Um, and he passed away when I was young. So I, I never really got to ask the questions that I have now or learn from that. And when I got older, uh, working in the corporate world, you know, I just felt like there's a little bit more that I'm supposed to do um, with these gifts that I have. And so that's how I found ATP. Them training veterans for free mm -hmm. was, I thought, the coolest thing ever. And I said, you know, I, I got to meet these people. And so I met John, um, who's now my father-in-law. He didn't know he was being matchmaker at the yeah. time, but he introduced me to Caleb <laughs> and, uh, you know, we volunteered and, and worked together on the business part of ATP because that's when it was really starting to, to pick up. And, um, you know, fast forward, we got married on Mount Kilimanjaro, but also with that, um, when we kind of teamed up there and, and had the same values and, and mission to help this community, it really began to take off. 
<laughs> Can I back up just a little bit? And this is off script. Uh, <laughs> so I apologize beforehand, but it caught my attention because I too, um, you know, I'm fortunate to still have my father, but he was, uh, he was in Vietnam. Um, uh, I saw what that did to him. I didn't understand it being a young kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, you know, one of my reasons to help you is because I saw all that and I didn't understand it. And I kind of wish I had, but I wish I, he would have understood. And I wish he would have had the community mm-hmm. back then that you all provide. I mean, it is like, it's a very tight knit community. Um, I can't remember how you just said it though, but it was, it was something along the lines of, you know, it was going against your coming from your place of why, why you do this, or it was like, you need to understand what was going on with your father. And I'm just wondering if you would like to share that, you know, what you've learned from then, you know, until now about your story, because it's, it's very captivating to know that this is one of the reasons that you do this for other people. And it's a very strong why for you from even that, just that standpoint alone is strong, but all the other things that you've shared about yourself as well, but that, do you mind speaking about that a little bit? Of course not. And I kick myself every time this comes up because I forget the Bible verse, (laughs) but it's, you know, essentially, um, from death, there can be life. And, um, you know, really kind of zoning in on that. I thought, well, you know, I've got a great life, you know, yes, my dad passed away. That's sad. I miss Mm -hmm. him. Um, but my life is wonderful. I have a, a stepfather who is my absolute best friend and a mentor and, um, that father figure to me and my family, you know, it's, it's wonderful. Is this the life that came from his death? Mm -hmm. And if so, this is, this is good. And then, you know, just kind of diving into that, I kind of felt this nudge, like, no, there's more Sarah Mm -hmm. and you've got to, you've got to dip in and, and figure, figure out what that is. And so, um, that's when I just started looking up, like, veteran communities or, or veteran serving organizations. And I thought, well, what will you have me do with this God? Because, Mm -hmm. you know, should I, I'm a marketing major. Should I do marketing for them? Or, you know, what is it? So just tons of conversations, tons of, you know, spending time with different organizations and really kind of navigate and figure out what that looks like. And that's what led me to ATP. Yeah. And obviously you know, even since I've known you, that Aurelius has, ex- you know, this has been an offshoot of that. Um, you know, there, there's really three main program focuses there that I'd like for you to talk about the mind, the body, and then the soul. Um, do you mind if we just kind of break that down and you kind of just given us an example of each so people can get an understanding? Of course. And, you know, it, it goes back to bringing life from death. Yes. And, you know, a lot of these people have experienced traumatic events that included death, unfortunately. And, um, I believe that this mind, body, soul program here can restore that quality of life for people that have been through those events and then also help, you know, their friends that may have passed away or, or mm-hmm. been through something, find that life also. So what about the mind? What kind of things are you doing? You know, cause it's, I've, I've been over, I've, I've seen what you're doing. It's pretty cool. We do a lot. Yeah. yeah. So for the mind, what are you doing for people there? For the mind, uh, we've got an awesome team yeah. and, uh, a team of experts that are passionate and serving the veteran community and also in providing these treatments to people that may not necessarily have the resources to reach them or receive the treatment, you know, within their budget. Mm -hmm. And so for the mind, um, you know, the first thing we want to do is, is confront that depression, anxiety, or PTS. And so, uh, we set them up with a mental health counselor and then, uh, we do transcranial magnetic stimulation. And for those of you who are not familiar with TMS, um, I'll give you the, the overview layman's terms, maybe, um, But when someone's been through a traumatic event, uh, the pathways in your brain become damaged or underutilized, not usable. And so the dopamine and the the feel good hormones, um, they can't surge through those pathways like they should to lift up the mood or to combat depression, PTS and anxiety. And so TMS is a magnetic pulse that is 
um, placed on the outside of your head. It's mm -hmm. non-invasive and it sends these pulses through targeting the areas that are damaged and it kind of reforges those pathways so that the feel good hormones and, and the dopamine can, can surge through and, um, provide that healing. Okay. Yeah. And it's, it's good. I've seen it, you know, seen it work. So now the body, let's, let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, well, maybe we should back, let's go to the soul because there's a lot that you're doing for the body inside and outside of, mm -hmm. of the physical office, so to speak. So let's go to the soul first. What, what, what are you doing for that? The soul, um, I'm super excited about this because I, I, I love to learn mm -hmm. and I've been diving into a lot of research about adventure, the power of being in nature, um, and how that can heal mentally, physically, and, and spiritually. And so for the soul, we take people out on adventures mm -hmm. and, um, you know, Caleb and I are very blessed to be able to do what we love, uh, as a part of our work. So, um, whether it be hiking, biking, rock climbing, um, a picnic, a bonfire, you know, we've got a softball game this weekend. We're doing tons of stuff in the community, um, really to support community uh -huh. within the people that we're serving camaraderie. Also, um, many of our events are open to the public too, but at the end of the day, we believe that adventure empowers the soul. And so when we are providing this curated outdoor challenge for somebody that um, hasn't hiked since they've been in the military. They've never, they've never hiked willingly. Right. <laughs> and Will here we are, uh, bringing them on this, you know, five mile, 10 mile hike. And they're saying, you know, this is the first time I ever chose to do this. And I absolutely loved it. And so, um, putting people in those, um, customized outdoor challenges that probably, uh, provoke a little bit of anxiety, um, mm -hmm you know, memories come back and then they're working through that with those feelings. And then they hit that goal, that adventure goal. You know, we get to the end of the trail or on top of the summit. Um, it becomes all the more empowering physically. And also they take that to other areas of their life, maybe their family life or at yeah. work. Yeah. And so those two things obviously come into the body and that's, you know, I, I think you can do a lot for the body right? You can exercise, you can do it, but if you can't get the mind straight, if you can't get your kind of your, your soul in alignment with that, you know, the body's not going to respond correctly, but what are like, what are the things that you're doing? Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of the things, I think you all call it functional uh, performance training, but what does, like, what does that mean? Like to the, to the lay person? Yeah. Well, you can think of it as really getting back to the basics. Mm -hmm. Um, many, uh, you know, when our first responder community, there are demands for those jobs in the veteran community also. Um, but getting back to the basics so that we can build off of that strong foundation. So we work a lot on balance, mm -hmm. um, stability, sensory integration, um, these complex movements that are, are not single plane, you know, we don't have a ton of machines, but we're doing Turkish get-ups. We're doing, you know, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on some of these exercises and I know my team will be very disappointed, but, <laughs> but the complex movements are also allowing you to work that brain, mm -hmm. um, that cognitive function so that the only thing you are thinking about in that moment is moving my right hand and my left leg. And when we do that and we work through these, you're also getting stronger. Um, it's just really fun to see. And it's a little bit of an adjustment too. many people are, are used to these high intensity, right. um, you know, interval training. And it, we love to do that also. But when you start to build off of the basics, um, that's when we really start to see improvements. And so you're doing that, you know, the body, mind, soul, you're really getting back to the basics with everyone there mm -hmm. on those things and building that around that, um, you know, before we forget, I mean, you don't have to, you, you know, Obviously, you're probably not going to use anybody's name, but do you have like a, a, a success story that you could share with our, our audience? We have, you know, the past, oh gosh, 16 months have just, there There are too many stories um, and they're all so powerful. And we're just so proud of our team for for helping to create these stories too. Um, 
one that's really near and dear to my heart right now is um, an individual who uh, the first time he was supposed to come in, um, they got a call and uh, he wasn't able to for for work reasons. Um, we later saw him on the news that night oh. and um, it was it was a traumatic event. He showed up at one of our community nights that night and, um, you know, he didn't look anyone in the eye and, you know, he was just nervous. I could tell. And, you know, I said, hi, how you doing? He said, good. Sorry. I couldn't come in today. Uh, I said, no worries at all. We'll be here when you're ready. Um, and I said, you know, you want to get on the climbing wall? And he said, no, nope. I said, all right. And he said, you know, I just, I didn't want to be alone tonight. And I understood. Yeah. And so, um, you know, he was there, he got to know our team and, and see what we do outside of the training center. Um, fast forward 12 weeks, the transformation is just incredible. Um, and, and what I've learned through studying the power of nature and the power of adventure and community, when someone experiences awe, Meaning, you know, you, you see a mountaintop and you're like, wow, that's, that's big. Yeah. You know, how, how can I, I lay eyes on this? Is this real? You know, that's that feeling that you're, uh, not confused, but you know, outside of yourself, right. You know, you feel pretty small and in this big world. And what I find so interesting is, um, you know, in the veteran and the first responder community, these individuals are, you know, serving and sacrifice mm -hmm. that's in their blood. Right. And, uh, when they go to, you know, overseas or, you know, they're on the job and experiencing complex trauma or, you know, traumatic event that love for service and sacrifice, you know, that can kind of be weighed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, what am I doing? And then you come home and you're working through that. And then you provide this all inspiring experience such as summoning a mountain or, you know, it can be in many ways. Um, but it, it reignites that love for service and sacrifice because you feel a part of this bigger world and you want to help. And so, um, the cool thing, uh, with this particular individual, um, is that we saw that mm -hmm. firsthand and, you know, they're now, wrapping their arms around new people coming in and saying, you know, Hey, you want to go do this? You want to go to the movies? You know, it, it's so fun to see how, um, this transformation has taken place and they want to serve other people that are going through the same thing where, where they started to. Yeah. And this is really needed in, especially in the veteran community, the military community. Uh, just, you know, that statistic we all see, mm -hmm. you know, there's, I think it's 22, yeah, many to a day. Num yeah, a lot of research will say 22. I I've seen research that can be 44. You know, it's it's sad. They're taking their lives every day. Mm -hmm. That have gone, that have been of service, then they come back and just can't get it yeah. together again. And and having this program and yours, I don't think I emphasized this enough at the beginning. This is just a 12 week program. It's three months, and you're talking about a gentleman who probably didn't, you know, was thinking some thoughts when he first came in and mm -hmm. now he's embracing other folks that are like him, just giving them hope just from who he is. Oh, and that's right. And what he's yeah. gone through. That's, you know, what we've said before is some people, when they walk in the door, you know, you can tell that they're on that wrong side of hope. They're in this really dark place. And, um, we hate to see that, <laughs> you know, we, we don't want that for anybody. And so I think what's important is the community that we've, we've, uh, developed here with our team and the clients that we've served, they, um, just wrap their arms around people when they walk in the door. And, uh, the more that we can provide that opportunity for people to seek that community, the better. Yeah. So, you know, with that, I mean, your pledge, you know, Aurelius's pledge is, is what? Cause it's pretty, you know, to me, it's profound. It, well, Adventures in training with a purpose is, is the parent nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And then, um, this specialized division Aurelius was formed and, and it was formed, you know, because we saw this spike in, in veterans and first responders in active military that we were training physically, 
working through these psychological wounds. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, our team got together and how can we better serve here? Once we kind of formalized Aurelius into this specialized division, it was so much easier to communicate, you know, what we do at ATP with Aurelius and, you know, generous private donors learned about it. And they said, I want to get behind this. I, I want to be a part of helping this community um, heal from PTSD and depression. And so um, they donated to cover the operating costs for Aurelius, mm-hmm. which makes it really easy for me <laughs> to go out and say, hey, donor, uh, 100% of your dollar is going to go towards the treatment services right. to help this this hero. And so, yeah, our commitment is is the 100% rule. Yeah. which we're excited and yeah. very fortunate to be able to say we are. And we want to keep that going with that. Um, I want to encourage my listeners, our listeners at center for victory and who anybody is watching, you know, I'm obviously behind you guys. I love what you do. How can, how can people contribute? We have um, a sponsor, a hero campaign right now, a, a donation of $5,000 allows one, a uh, veteran active military member or first responder to go through the 12 week Aurelius program. Mm-hmm. Um, that can be done online or simply by contacting me. Um, and then I'd love to, you know, just share any, any bit helps, mm-hmm. uh, you know, $5,000 isn't within the range, you know, it might be a, a monthly adventure that, that we can count or a monthly donation, mm-hmm. not an adventure. Although you're welcome to count on yeah. all of our adventures. Um, but yeah, monthly donations, those help too. Um, and how do they do that? Website. Yeah, website, Aurelius520.org. And Aurelius, I will spell that out. It's okay. A-U-R-E-L-I-U-S, the number is 520.org. Okay. So uh, hopefully you got that. You can also, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put your, your information uh, in the podcast as well, uh, in the notes, and they can always get a hold of us. I mean, we're big contributors. Um, you do have some upcoming events and actually, uh, we're getting more involved. We are getting more involved and I'm kind of nervous and excited about it. Um, uh, you know, you do a lot of things, you do a lot of things here in the community. You do the North park hikes, um, obviously the softball game, uh, Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro. you've done that. Uh, you and Caleb were actually married, uh, on Kilimanjaro with with everybody that was tagging along with you which was kind of cool um the laurel highlands i mean you do that Mm -hmm. we're we're preparing to go on the the grand canyon rim to rim with you which we'll get to see that people can you know you obviously need help but you know you're obvious you're you're also pushing yourself because that's what i like about this i mean uh, you know going back to that that quote from Marcus Aurelius, what stands in the way becomes the way, you know, when, when even people, even to go back to thinking about donating, Mm -hmm. there's obstacles to that. It's like, well, man, I'm, you know, what, right. (laughs) But some, some of us, myself included, uh, need to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. I need to do that. That's part of that. And because my mind gets sharper when I believe that there's enough. Oh, and one of the very important things that that we emphasize is at whatever level you want to be yeah. connected to this mission, you are invited to do so. Come in and visit the training center and see firsthand what we're doing. Meet our team, meet the meet the the people that we're serving. And the adventures too are so powerful. They're open to the public. You know, most of them are. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, when you're hiking next to this individual that you may be supporting you know, that, that can be really powerful. And so we, we do provide that opportunity when we can. Makes you a lot less, uh, selfish (laughs) when you're behind, (laughs) when you're beside somebody and can see, you know, you stop complaining because they're, they have these folks have gone through a ton. Like I've lived with it. I've seen it. I've worked with folks, you know, this is my background as a therapist. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be a perspective shifter. Yeah. And um going through a, a physical challenge and a mental challenge, mm-hmm. such as hiking across the Grand Canyon rim to rim, which you'll be doing um, yeah. in a few September. short months yeah. here. But 
you will learn that the people that you do that with those who are on your team and those that you're hiking with, you'll become lifelong friends. Yeah. And that's what we could use more of as community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all of us, sure. all yes. of us, all of us, all of us. And, and if anybody listening to this, uh, you can go over in their, in their Wexford office, they do welcome you in that you'll embrace anybody that comes in. But if anybody is leery about going over that knows me, I will take you over. Uh, I'll, I'll organize it with you. You know, we can go over, see the place, uh, see what you do. Cause just watching can be impactful. I mean, the, the conversations that I've had, I mean, last time I was actually walking out and I, we had been there already for a couple hours, I think. Um, uh, and I'm walking out, I'm literally almost out of the door and I'm having this conversation, um, with one of your clients who's, who was younger and it just, it, I moved. Mm -hmm. right he's not even doing anything yet i'm just talking to him <laughs> you know uh but again um i thought you were going to mention track i will say okay <laughs> i was prepared to say watch out for the yeah. dog but <laughs> yeah so we yeah trek is i mean i love trek i love you know <laughs> having him there trek is your dog he's uh but he's a uh, probably uh you know I think Caleb said he was about 140 pounds. He's a human sized dog. Yeah. Yes. And, but he acts like he's like a little chihuahua. I mean, he wants to, to be cuddled and, you know, he's, you know, he, he'll just let me stand there and rub his head forever. Oh, he thinks that we're all there to see him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I see what that does also for, for your patients. Mm -hmm. Right. And there, there's healing with that. It really is just the, you know, kind of that, that big family. Uh, you're doing a lot of good things. Um, any, I mean, is there anything that you would leave us with that are kind of tips or something that you would say to encourage anyone to either, you know, get involved, be part of even, uh, I mean, this goes out to, to vets too. Uh, so if you want to, here's a good plug to, you know, if you want some veterans to come in that they might be say, sitting out there thinking you'll, is there anything for me? Mm -hmm. The important thing uh, that I'd love for everybody to know um, is we're here for you. We we want to serve with excellence mm -hmm. and uh, we want to reach the people that, that could benefit from our mind, body, soul program here. And so if there's any reservations, you know, give us a call, stop into the office, the training center, meet our team. Um, our team is is world-class. I could not ask for a better team. And they are so passionate in helping people reach, they are. reach their goals. And no goal is too small. No goal is, is unimportant. Mm -hmm. It's your goal. That's what makes it important. And we've got a team that, that wants to see you succeed. Um, and so, yeah, I would just encourage you to reach out to us. Um, I think that's it. yeah. And it's good. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're out there, if you're a vet, if you're a veteran, reach out, um, yeah, reach out to us. I, I will gladly take you over. I mean, I've, I've taken other people over. I'm sure I will continue to take other people over because once you see the program and realize what it does, it's eye opening um, from wherever you stand, whether you want to contribute, whether you need that 12 week program, whatever it is here to help uh, really appreciate you coming on, sharing this. Uh, I love your passion, love your mission for this. Hopefully people will reach out. I really encourage anybody listening to reach out, get involved, volunteer, contribute, whatever. Okay. But thanks Sarah for being on. Hopefully we can have you back and share some other stories. Uh, thanks for watching, listening, you know, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post next. And remember wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, make this your best day yet. See you soon.